this is part two of our day in Skagway, Alaska. We have just finished going on the train and now we're headed to Dredgetown. Here we're going to be learning about dog sledding and panning for gold. And I'll do a short little loop around gravel tracks. You guys get to see them in action. But we probably are saving the best for last. We have five, ten week old puppies for you guys to hold. So yeah, we save it for last, otherwise you guys probably won't even pay attention to whatever we have to say up here. So <laughs> Um, but to get to that, um, Iditarod, so what actually is that? The Iditarod, that's a 1,000 mile sled dog race that takes place up here in Alaska. It begins in Anchorage and goes all the way north to Nome. Now that 1,000 mile distance, that's comparable to driving from New York City down to Miami, Florida. The race first began back in 1973, and in that year to the teams about 20 to 30 days to finish and nowadays well we can finish it in about 8 to 14 days when i ran it i finished it in 13 days you hear the dogs watches rambling with Phil so he will see this. Where's Tony Beats? He's getting his season started. So when gold was found in 1896 and it came down to the lower 48 in 1897, people got 
really excited. There was so much gold on those ships that docked in both Seattle and San Francisco. The newspapers wrote, read gold, 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 gold. And that's what started the big rush up to the Klondike to try and find gold. It was advertised that there is so much gold that you could just walk by and pick it up. We gotta make sure that this gold is real. There are four different tests we can do. The first one is the magnet test. If that is gold, it should not be magnetic. You wanna try that out? It is not, very good. The second test we're gonna do is the porcelain test. This is a piece of unfinished porcelain. Now gold, if you were to try and draw a line with your gold on the porcelain, it will leave a yellow or golden mark. So let's see, let's check. This leaves us a gold mark. Oh, that looks like a black mark right there. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to put a thumbs down for the porcelain test. The next test we have is the Mohs scale test. The Mohs scale is a scale of the hardness of a material. Gold on the Mohs scale is a 2.5. Steel is a 6.5. So if I were to try and make a dent inside the gold, I should be able to make a dent with the steel. So let's try yours out. Do you see a dent? No. Fortunately, we are going to have to put a thumbs down on the Mohs scale test as well. Now the next test we're gonna do is the weight test. If it weighs about seven times more, then it might be gold. Does it weigh seven times more? No. Unfortunately, guys, I think that that is not real gold, but don't worry, you guys will find real gold today. That's Tony Beats Dredge. I mean, his first one of his dredges was kind of like that before he tore it down to move it. Tony Beats actually tried to buy this. Now folks, what are we all here for today? Gold. Gold. Let's get a little more enthusiastic than that. What are we all here for today? Gold. Gold. There we go. You see, nuggets like this only amount for one-tenth of one percent. So we shake down and we dump. We shake down and we dump. So a quick review, folks. We get it wet, we shake. We shake some more. We shake into the corner. We dump, we swirl. And we collect our riches. It's that simple, folks. I wish you the best of luck. Who's ready to get rich? Ooh, I got my pan. I see some colors already. All right, how are we doing over here? Good, how are you? Excellent, that's right. Shaking, shaking, shaking. All right, and now the trick is to hold your pants at a bit of an angle. That's right, and keep shaking and shake it all into the corner. And really get those pans moving, get all that dirt moving so the gold will sink down to the bottom. Just like that, sir, you're doing great. Channeling Tony Beats. I want to channel Tony Beats and none of the Hoffmans. And actually, mm -hmm. at this point, I don't think you need to shake anymore at all. Okay. Get down to this last bit. So what you can do is just dunk, and it's like a 
like making little waves keep the pan tilted so you okay. have that nice safe spot for your gold. And you can think of it like the river eroding away the rock okay. and revealing the gold. Yep, keep it tilted and just do dips and each dip should make a wave, each wave. And you can keep the whole thing in the water. Water is okay. your best friend because gold doesn't really move very well in water, but the rocks, they do. We got our gold and we're heading to see how much this is worth. It's gonna be worth millions. Today is May 11th. Gold price is 1852 per ounce. All right, I was so excited in watching, I forgot to film the counting of our gold flex, but uh, so how much did we get? $23. You got, yeah, we got 23 when we got 17. Okay, so we got like $40 worth of gold. Here we are, roughly at the end of our day. We just got back from our excursion in Skagway. I think I already did get some footage of this earlier this morning, but now the sky is very clear or it's a lot clearer than it was this morning because we can now see the tips of all these mountains out here. And zooming in on the area where we took the train. We went way up there. Way up there. And that's Skagway at the bottom of the screen. And we actually, I think we might have been over there also, or at least we could see it, because that looks like the Sawtooth Mountain Tops. Yeah. 